So we have this web applications, the IEG spectral visualization. It doesn't actually displaying anything and no errors. Actually don't know why there is no error. Debugging is true and nothing is being plotted. Window size is not being taken into account. Okay, so I have this code. Let's start a new chat because this one is getting tangled. Possibly have some nans somewhere. Number of nans in data. Aren't we printing it? All spectrum. So if I turn all spectrum on, there are no nans anywhere. Well, at least that I can see a filtered. It's getting confused now, which makes me suspect it lost some context of the code. A filtered data should be filtered data. And let's check it again. This didn't work. Convert only to the least. I'm pretty sure we're already doing this. Is that process? I don't think there's any processing on the front end. I don't know what it's talking about. Uh, well, first we're having this error, but also all spectrum is not none. Yeah, I'm converting this to list already. Frequencies time spectrum, yes, front end. So I actually have that line. Okay, let's start a new chat. So we back to GPT-4, just using default. Well, because the data analysis, which used to be the code interpreter, is trying to do, execute on the OpenAI server, which uh, doesn't suit what we are doing here. Um, so let's start with uh, index HTML. We have those prompts, well, that's how we started. So they, well, they're doing something, but don't get any results yet. Just saving that, so it needs the context. Um, HTML, and that's okay. Let's do the JavaScript next, and then the um, Python code. Okay, that's enough. And it should be the JavaScript. It's mainly for context, as we're trying to actually solve specific errors that we're getting. Okay, that's enough. And that's the Python code. We'll just let it run. So we're doing this tool here. Still have the old version of it. Uh, that's how it used to look like. Yeah, we have the video there of how it uh, meant to work. Yes, basically just scroll through a file, it shows you the raw EG and its spectrogram. Should be really straightforward. Actually kind of like uh, this. Uh, can I just save this as an image? Do I go full screen? Just copy that for a sec. Just trying to get an image for the interface because we could actually feed it uh, into so it should look like this and this is what the front end should look like well that's okay i know what it does um html structure yes let's do one thing at a time so we we gave it all the code Okay, now line 78, this should be a quick fix. Restarting with start, run this. Ooh, yes, we have all this lens. Everything else is working okay. Have to solve the NAN issue first. And this pretty much all of it is NANs. Then we're getting this error from the browser. Why am I getting dance? And there indicates that you filter ring 
process is producing nonce, no number value. Let's break down the issue filtering process to use the butter. So that's Butterworth uh, filter. Bound path filter can sometimes result in non value, especially if the data sum has some extreme values. So I probably uh, need to detrend it first, I would say. Uh, boundary effects. Produce boundary effects, especially when using functions like field field, which is a forward backward field uh, steps. Boundary data replace nonce before sending to JS. Well, that won't help because they're essentially all nuns, so the filter is not uh, working correctly. Would not work because we're essentially getting all nuns. Doesn't mean the filter is not working correctly. Shall we do the trending first before any filtering? Yeah, this will only mask the problem. <laughs> yeah, let's just get all serious. The training uh, many can help. Signal has linear trend. It does have a linear trend. And this might be, uh, affect the filter performance. Be move the training process. Right, so we, we detrend first. A filter data detrend on. We want this before any filtering is applied. But it is. Yeah, the filter should be some, some very basic uh, thing. Subtracting the mean of the signal to remove any DC. But that's what the trending should do to begin with. We'll compare those two later. Check filter stability. If the number of poles above one or equal to one. Absolute poles. Number of roots. Yeah, essentially we want to check how complicated this filter is or isn't the training before filtering pretty sure already place the training bar code before you apply the filtering i mean pretty sure it's already easy let me double check so this is where field filters li uh, line 83 yes yeah, signal the trend is line 59 um so that should be fine um isn't the training process already before the filtering? Should be yes. It's checking filter parameters is a good idea. So let's see if the filter is unstable. Filter for alpha is unstable. So why did you give me an unstable filter? Should have Add some basic uh, filtering, downsampling. 400 should be fairly low already. I don't know why the numbers go 1 to 3 and then 1 again. So regards downsampling, downsampling fairly low. Low pass, uh, high pass sequential, that's a good idea. Uh, what are we currently using? So it should have given a default um, filter order. What is the filter order? It's taken from... Yeah, that's super large. Okay, so that filter order was too large. Right. So now we're getting getting something. That was a simple fix. Didn't actually have to change anything in the code. <laughs> well, we need to obviously limit the filter order. This is actually... The actual signal meant to be the bands and frequency. It's meant to be frequency. Looks like the raw signal. Well, it looks like the deconstructed signal. So I know what's what is it doing. Um, sorry, it's uh, so it's breaking the signal into frequency bomb, but this is still time domain. This shouldn't be time domain. And Obviously here we should be able to see something, actually the seizure, so essentially um, looks like the seizure broken down. I don't even know what's wrong with this trend, whole spectrum, so the whole spectrum 
it's that gray. Um, it's not actually there. Okay, we need first we need to limit limit the filter order. So don't change anything. Why? Um, okay, channel number. Okay, this seem to uh, to work. Uh, so we need to make sure filter order. Why is it a problem, by the way? What is it? What is the limit? So it's like um, something fairly low. What if it's the trend at first? Can it then go higher? E no. Okay, what's the first? Uh, this chart is called raw signal. So why am I not seeing the raw signal? No, it's not only it will take too long to process. It will be, otherwise it will be too sharp and the signal will be distorted and become unstable or become unstable, which we currently, which we are monitoring for in the code. Okay, the other thing is that it uh, was called raw, it's meant to be the original channel number the trend whole spectrum frequency scale filter order raw signal this is the id new plot raw signal data raw signal chat is empty when the page is loaded and <laughs> and otherwise yeah there's some good suggestions there but we'll get to them in a sec when we actually see the we should be able to display the raw signal. It should be a simple task. Data equal data. Data is data. Am I using the time? No. Pretty short time is not being used. A window size is not taking effect not changing the charts not showing any signal raw signal it's the id raw signal data and uh, no raw signal data filter data copilot is not suggesting anything at all print first raw signal to console cannot do slice why i can just use print right this javascript not python so i can't print i can only print to console what yep i'm not using slice anymore to refresh the page control f it always goes to that large filter order filter data. and you'll just sum up quickly I did quite a bit of progress uh, mainly with JGPT4 was able to generate some working code uh, GitHub Copilot uh, was not able to generate a fully working code but yes it could be useful to explain particular bits it should in theory have the context for um, all the other files in reality I'm not sure if it does yeah, troubleshooting in console kind of helps, but uh, primarily we're struggling with the structure of the data. So it, it's all there, but I think the bot is getting a bit confused regards um, how the data is being uh, stored. Uh, we might start a new chat that probably will help quite a bit. Uh, let's do it quickly see if it's able to resolve this particular problem uh, I'll pop in the html a javascript and the python code we need to specify what the problem is don't we first of all let this filter alpha instead but we know how to fix it we just need to change how to read 
Reduce default filter order. Actually, let's ask what's the filter order. Well, we can do it. Mean max. Let's make it four. Right, so this is four. So we solve that quickly. Single shot is not showing any signal. Not thinking. Yeah, my alpha band probably going up at the moment because it must be in a non thinking state. <laughs> 